you believe that I started my career in broadcasting <laughs> as Proton Man? <laughs> and I uh, had long underwear with a lightning bolt. So you thought that this would somehow lead you to becoming the big investigative reporter? I also did news at night. Later on, I'd do the news. But they could not, they did not know that the guy, Proton Man, was also the newsman. <laughs> uh, but this is how you, you start. I mean, you start doing whatever you can. All right, so I know you can't believe this, but I played in sports. And I actually lettered in several sports. Can you guess? Volleyball? Bowling. Oh, oh, lawn bowling. Lacrosse. <laughs> Field hockey. No, really? Yeah. But, but, but you're only 5'5 five, five in, in your heels. I, I lettered my freshman year. Oh, nice. All right, only one off. Cute. <laughs> Uh, I'm a junior in high school, 17 years old, and my, my mentor, Hal Scott, made arrangements for me to uh, show up on my first Saturday. The receptionist was there, I said, hey, Mark Rosen here for the sports department. Uh, let me see here. Uh, no? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have your name here. Now it's 35 years later, and I'm still walking through the same door. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. One day, both of the on-air weathercasters were out of town. They were both on vacation, scheduling air. The news director, Jay Newman, called. So he's frantic. He goes, look, we know you do the weather for us. We don't care what you look like. Just come up one day and be on the air. It was a Tuesday evening. I went up, did the weather. I had a clipboard. My voice was cracking. <laughs> Keep it a secret, OK? 